Hello, YouTubers and random Doctor of fans. Today, as you can see, there's a Zygon in front of the camera. Well, there is an action figure review. There's two more as well. That's on the table. I've just took them out of the box. I was going to review the box, but the boxes were too big. So, let's just get into the figures itself. So, first of all, we have the Zygon. Now, this one was featured in Day of the Doctor as well. These are classic figures as well, so... They'll get mixed up with the modern as well. So we have these like suction bits, like an, an octopus type thing going on on the back as well. And his head does not move at all. It's like glued in place or something. And you have this little silver piece in the middle. There like. Then on the bottom we have like this, some sort of gab and stuff on the bottom. But it looks really scaly. you got like this infection areas on him. It's got like lines down the back. Now, turning to articulation, this oh, does, I wouldn't say it does a full 360, like halfway there, but this does 90 degrees into the bend, um, 360 on the arm, wrist, I mean the yeah, wrist. Uh, they do sort of do the splits on the legs, so does not turn, but does turn 90. On L and on the foot we have full 360 twist. So one figure down, two to go. <laughs> now, as my dad likes to call him, is Tin Man. Don't know why, but he does. But this is a classic Dutch room figure, so obviously you'll obviously see if you watch the episodes. This has a massive boxing coming out of his chest looks kind of weird and looks like a cardboard box from a distance i don't know why but the head does sort of look like it's got a camera a built-in camera like a spy camera but it's actually not um like it's got like this crystal on the ear um articulation the head does not move it does slightly move but not really this does the full 360, 90, 360, splits not really clever because it's been hindered by the skirt area onto the torso. Then we have the full 360 onto the ankle and a bend like so. So detail wise it looks like a classic Cyberman. You can tell it's a classic Cyberman because it was on a pretty low budget, I think. But anyways, you have the pants, which look kind of stupid, but it's just me being weird. Um, it just looks like it's been covered up in cloth and stuff. But yeah, <sighs> two down. Ice Warrior to go. <laughs> now. This sort of reminds me of like a crocodile type thing to it. Um, oh, his foot's come off. Uh, that's great. <laughs> it's, it has to have plastic surgery now because his foot fell off. Well, anyways, let's let's just um, leave that for a bit. So, detail, it looks really scary. It looks like a crocodile thing. It has like this pattern on the back. Um... It's got this thing, I think you can put light into it, I don't know. But I'm actually going to try that out. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, that's weird. Didn't know you could do that. Size warrior. Didn't know you could do that. Well, now I do. Anyways. Um... Let's just um, carry on with the thing, shall we? So that was one feature, but the head does do a three, uh, uh, a full 360. The arm is on a ball joint as well, so it kind of does the what's uh, like a regenerating type pose, like the doctor does. Um, yeah, does do the three, four, six, 360. Now, it does 
get hindered by this thing on the on the character and it does do a bend and this has lego hands so the lego hands it does move full 360 it also starts to come off no articula articulation on the waist but the legs do move like sideways Free, free, uh, a full 360 and then a bend oh his other foot fell off uh, this one's stiff oh, that's what she said well anyways oh that's why stiff stiff <laughs> um, so yeah this is actually is a really stiff figure and his feet would have done a full 360 but they keep falling off so he definitely needs plastic surgery. So if we can stick it back in.